Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an equation with complex numbers. Z is a complex number. If you are new to complex numbers, go ahead and check out my lecture videos. I made a playlist. Great, so we have Z bar, which is the complex conjugate of Z, plus IZ, which is I times Z, equals 7 plus 7I. And then we're going to be solving for z. And I think I'll be presenting two methods. And let's start with the first one. The first method will be pretty standard for these kinds of equations, especially if z bar and z or z and the uh, absolute value of z and so on and so forth are involved, you should call z something. z is a complex number. It has two components, right? So we can write z as a plus bi, which is also the name of this channel, right? Yay. So z equals a plus bi. From here, z bar is going to be the complex conjugate. The special number when you multiply by z gives you a real number. When you add to z, it gives you a real number again. In that sense, it's unique. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and plug everything in and then solve for a and b. That's basically going to be our first method, but let's see how that plays out. So z bar goes here z goes here, don't forget to multiply by i and set it equal to that. You get the plan? Okay, great. Let's go ahead and get to work. We got a minus bi plus i times a plus bi equals 7 plus 7i. I could take out a 7, but at this point it's not necessary. Maybe I'll do it later. Now let's simplify this. First step, how do you simplify this? Something like this. You distribute the i. i times a is ai, like artificial intelligence but not quite there. Uh, i times bi is bi squared, but i squared is equal to negative one. Hopefully you knew that, right? That's very important. One thing that you should uh, never forget. So that's gonna be minus b, and that is equal to seven plus seven i. Does this make sense, sort of? It should, right? Well, here's the thing. We need to put the real parts together. a and b are real, by the way, a minus b, and then a minus b multiplied by i, equals 7 plus 7i. Now looking at this, you could hopefully tell that a minus b is supposed to equal 7 because we have a system, right? a minus b is 7 and a minus b is 7. Obviously, you don't need the second equation, but I just wanted to emphasize that it just verifies the first one. So a minus b equals 7. The problem with this, though, because we only have one equation. In other words, if these are linear functions, then they intersect at infinitely many points because they are the same line. It's kind of interesting, right? Analytical geometry, uh, a line intersects itself at infinitely many points or overlaps or just coincides, whatever. So what do we do with this though? A minus B equals seven, that's it? Yes. So basically your solutions are gonna be in the form of Z equals A plus BI such that A minus B is seven. So how do you express that though? If you wanted to stick to A and just change the B, B from here is going to be A minus 7. So you can write your Z as A plus A minus 7I, where A is a real number with the special R, right? So A can be anything pretty much as long as it's a real number. It can't be I. It can't be uh, 3 plus 4I. It has to be real. Make sense? Suppose Z is equal to, I mean, suppose Z, not Z, a is equal to 5, then z is just going to be 5 minus 2i. Make sense? Is that right? 5 minus 7 is negative 2. Okay, good. I did it right because sometimes I make arithmetic mis mistakes. But yeah, that would be one of the solutions. And you could definitely check that, plug it into the equation, it should satisfy. What happens if a is equal to 0, right? Or b is equal to 0? If b is 0, then a is going to be 7. So z is just going to be 7. Does 7 really work? Are you sure about that? Let's check it out. Z bar plus I Z equals 7 plus 7I. Oops. What is going on? Notability. Come on. Relax. Z bar plus I Z is equal to 7 plus 7I. And now, if Z is 7, that's a real number. And its conjugate is itself. So, Z bar is going to be 7. Z is 7. 7I equals 7 plus 7I. Yay, that's correct. It's an identity, right? It was a tautology. Whatever, something like that. So, it works, obviously, but it's funny because uh, is 7 the only real number that satisfies this equation? If it asks for real solutions to a complex equation, that would be pretty interesting, right? And 7 would probably be the only real number, do you think? Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the second method. Oh, by the way, 
uh, you can just write the solutions that way. Or if you want to write the z as, okay, z is equal to a plus b i, such that you could also write it as an equation like this, such that a minus b equals 7 and a and b are real numbers. By the way, you don't have to specify that a and b are both real numbers. You can just say one of them because if a is a real, b is also real and vice versa. Make sense? This is just another way to express our solutions in the set notation. All right. And this just means such that a line that's used for something like that. Okay, cool. Let's see how we can solve this problem a little differently. And I haven't tried this method, but I have a feeling it's going to work. That's why it's the second method, because I wanted to give you something that works first. So now we have this equation. Did it get your attention that, okay, something electrical, I don't know, with the pen maybe, something going on with static electricity, whatever, anyways. So this is my equation. And since I have a z bar in the equation, I thought maybe I can just bar both sides or conjugate both sides, however you're going to say it. I can take the conjugate on both sides and that would work. How, what do we know about conjugates? If you have like a z plus w and you conjugate it, it's going to be the sum of the two conjugates. If you have a product, that should also work. And I believe it's worked with division and subtraction too, right? And there are, these are very easy to prove, by the way. You can just go ahead and set z equal to a plus bi and w equal to z. Okay, z equal to a plus bi and w equal to c plus di and plug it in and you'll see that both sides are equal. So I can do the following. I can just conjugate both sides and let me use a different color so I can still see my original equation under the hood, right? So let's go ahead and use the properties to come up with another equation. So when I conjugate the left-hand side, I, mean, I have a sum, so it's going to be the z bar bar. If you double bar z, you're going to get z. It's kind of like reciprocal. Turn something upside down and turn it upside down again. Hopefully by that time it's working. Uh, you're going to get z. So this is going to be z plus. We have a product in the second sum. So in the second term, uh, so we can we kind of need to think about the conjugate of both. What's the conjugate of i? Negative i, right? Got to be careful about that. And this is going to be z bar. And the right hand side is just going to be 7 minus 7i. Awesome. This basically should give me another equation, right? We can solve it. Now this should give us a system, right? And now we can go ahead and hopefully simplify this. Let's go ahead and put a minus sign here in front of the i minus i times this. Now, how do you solve such a system? You could probably eliminate one of these. Uh, let's see. I could. I think I could eliminate z bar because I want to end up with z. Let's multiply the second equation by i. That's going to give us i z bar. i squared is going to be a negative 1. And then equals, if you multiply by 7i minus 7. And then just copy the top equation. And then add these two. And that should give you uh, z somewhat, right? And this is basically going to give us, funny, right? Everything cancels out, 0 equals 0. It's always true. So does that mean any z would work? No, not really, because it still has to satisfy the original equation. So basically, the solution comes from the first equation, but we just wanted to use the second. Again, like I said earlier, I didn't try this. I didn't even know it was going to end up here, but that was a surprise for me too. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.